Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang task natin is to choose two ordered pair that will satisfy the inequality. So, dito sa apat na to, titingnan natin saan ba or alin ba ang magiging true pag sinubstitute natin siya dito. Okay? Pero bago natin iyon gawin, siguraduhin mo nang pindutin mo muna ang like button dyan. Okay, para hindi mo na makalimutan. At syempre, kung kadidiscover mo pa lang at bago ka pa lang dito sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na ang subscribe button at isabay mo na dyan ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. O sige, gawin mo na. Okay na? Okay na. Kaya, simulan na natin. Okay, let's have number 1. So, try natin yung unang ordered pair. We have 2 and 6. Ito ngayon ng x. Ito ang y natin. So, ang inequality natin na y is less than, sorry, x plus a 4 is substitute natin. Since ang y natin ay 6, less than ba yan pag we have 2 plus a 4? So, yung x natin ha, pinalito na natin ng 2. So, 6 is less than 2 plus 4. 6. Is 6 less than 6? No. Kaya ito ay false dito. So, hindi niya masasatisfy ito. Okay. How about the second ordered pair? 6 and 2. So, this is x. This is y. So, y is less than x plus 4. Ang y natin ay 2 less than ba yan kapag ano ang x natin? 6 plus 4 ang meron tayo dito. What is 6 plus 4? 10. Is 2 less than 10? Yes. So, true siya dito. Okay, for the third point, we have here negative 6 and then negative 6. Ito ngayon ang x, ito ang y. So, we have y is less than x plus a 4. So, we have here negative 6 is less than negative 6 plus a 4. Let's see kung true ito. So, negative 6 is that less than, what is negative 6 plus 4? Negative 2. Mas mababa ba si negative 6 kesa kay negative 2? Yes, true. Diba habang lumalayo ang number or ang negative number kay 0, mas bumababa yung value niya. Kaya, true ito. Sa last naman, sige, check pa rin natin kahit meron na tayong nakuhang dalawang true. Okay, we have here 6 and then 15. Ito ang x, ito ang y. So, we have y is less than x plus 4. So, ang y natin is 15. Is that less than, ang x mo ay 6, 6 plus a 4. Now, 15, is that less than 6 plus 4 is 10. Less than ba? No. So, this is a fall. Fall. False. O baka malaglag kayo, fall daw. So, that's a false. So, which means, ang magsasatisfy, sorry, ang dalawang ordered pairs na magsasatisfy nito ay, enter ko, ay, wait. O, ilagay yung final answer. Therefore, we have, aha, 6 and 2. Therefore, we have 6 and 2. And, we have negative 6 and negative 6. So, ayan. Okay, for number 2, let's have this one. Paano pag ganito naman yung itsura ng given ninyo? O, medyo madali lang din ito ha. Paano? O, ring maigi. Okay, so we have here naman negative 1 and then 2. Okay, so ito ang x, ito ang y. So, we have here 2x plus y greater than 10. Ang x mo ay negative 1. So, 2 times negative 1 plus 2, kasi yun yung y mo, is that greater than 10? Let's see. What is 2 times negative 1? That's negative 2 plus 2. Is that greater than 10? What is negative 2 plus 2? 0. Is 0 greater than 10? No. So, this is a false. Hindi siya ang sagot. Okay, how about we have here 8 and then 2? So, we have 2x plus y is greater than 10. So, magiging 2 times 8 plus 2 greater than 10. 
Okay, pinalita mo ha, 8 and then 2. So, we have here 16 plus 2, is that greater than 10? Yes, kasi 16 plus 2 is 18, which is greater than 10. So, true din siya dito. Okay, how about if we have 3 and 4? So, we have here now 2x plus y is greater than 10. So, 2 times 3, k okay, plus 4, is that greater than 10? What is 2 times 3? We have 6 plus 4. Is that greater than 10? 6 plus 4 is 10. Is that greater than 10? No. So, this is also false. Okay, how about the last one? We have here 5 and 3. So, let's have 2x plus y. Is that greater than 10? Adjust ko ha. So, we have here 2 times 5 plus 3. Kasi 3 yung y mo. Is that greater than 10? 2 plus 5. Oh, 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 3. Is that greater than 10? 10 plus 3 is 13. Which is greater than 10. So, dito, true ka rin. Which means, therefore, the points or the ordered pairs that will satisfy this uh, inequality is... 8 and 2, 8, 2 and 5 and 3. Okay, for our last given, let's have this one. Samahan nyo ako hanggang dulo ha. Paano pa ganito? O, tingnan nyo, meron ng equal sign sa ilalim. O, sige, let's solve. We have here 1 and 2, ba? So, ang equation mo ay 3y plus x. It should be greater than or equal to 5 ha. Ang y natin ay 2 plus 1. Is that greater than or equal to 5? What is 3 times 2? We have 6 plus 1. Is that greater than or equal to 5? What is 6 plus 1? 7. 7 is greater than or equal to 5. So, this is true. Okay, how about here? If we have 0 and 4, so we have there 3y plus x greater than or equal to 5. So, magiging 3 times 4 plus 0, is that greater than 5? What is 3 plus 4? Ah, 3 times 4, sorry. We have there 12 plus 0. Is that greater than 5? Yes, because 12 plus 0 is 12 and that is greater than or equal to 5. So, dito, true ka rin. Okay? O, tingnan naman natin dito sa 5 and 2. So, we have here 3, okay, y plus x greater than or equal to 5. So, we have here 3 times uh, 2 plus 5. Is that greater than or equal to 5? O, let's see. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5. Is that greater than or equal to 5? 6 plus 5 is 11. Greater than or equal to 5. Is this true? Totoo bang mas mataas si 11 kaysa kay 5? Yes, this is true. So, ang dami mong pagpipilian dito, ah, oh, meron kang tatlo. So, kahit alin dyan, pwedeng maging sagot. Pero, tingnan na naman natin kapag ito yung itinry natin. Let's have negative 1 and negative 5. Okay, so we have there 3y plus x greater than or equal to 5. So, 3 times negative 5 plus negative 1. Is that greater than or equal to 5? So, what is 3 times negative 5? That's negative 15 plus negative 1. Is that greater than or equal to 5? So, what is negative 15 plus negative 1? That's negative 16. Is negative 16 greater than or equal to 5? No, this is a false. Okay, so mamili ka na lang dito sa dalawa na to kung ganito yung nangyari sa answer mo. ha. So, it's either you choose... Wait, baba ko lang to. So, therefore, we have... Dalawa lang naman kailangan eh. Dipiliin ko na yung una. 1 and 2 and 0 and 4. 
Okay, ganun lang siya kadali. Ha, ganun lang kadaling mag-substitute. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, huwag mong kalimutan i-like at syempre mag-comment ka dyan sa comment section. Yun lang talaga yung kailangan ko, ang mag-comment kayo. Kasi yun yung magiging dahilan para mag-up itong video na ito. At kung hindi ka naman din busy, eh, bisitahin mo ang aming Facebook page, Maria Matics, at e-follow eh, na rin ito. Okay, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!